and there's the key. Um, eventually there's an item that you can add, it's like an add-on to your armor that will uh, charge your photon stuff up like twice as much and it's really handy but that's much much further into this game. For now, let's just help these guys with what I've got. And I'm a stingy bastard and I don't like using my photon charges. Which is why you probably saw me using this sword a lot when I was streaming. Um, these guys are electric element, which means I'm not going to do a whole lot with my electric uh, shots here, but oh well. I'm in the middle of combat, can't exactly change that too quickly. I... What is this? Monomate. Um, you know what? After this, I can use a monomate and pick that up. Woot! And yeah, your photon arts and such magic melee or range will increase with usage. So... Come on! Um, yeah, that's about all I have to say. Ooh, I just did a strong attack. Man, I wish I could figure out the timing for those. Um, if you don't just spam the attack button, you can do, like, super strong attacks if you get the timing right, but I've never been able to do it in this game. Sadly. Uh, boxes! And if you have dual uh, weapons like I do here, the offhand will charge even if you don't uh, have it uh, ready to use like this. So that's probably why I'm going to end up using this little gun and this sword a lot, just because I can quickly switch to the sword, let it recharge, etc, etc, and while I'm thinking about it. Um, right, I wanted it to be here. Link Photon Art. Let's get... Let's see, there's a lot of Koltovas in the area. And those enemies are electric, so let's go with Frozen. I think that'll be the best to use. See, it's doing like four more damage, which isn't a lot, but... Hey. Die! Also, this is a chance to freeze, which is nice. I think electricity has a chance to paralyze, which I think just means I can't attack, but they can still come near me, which is unnerving. Oh, look, tiny little bales of hay. Ooh, that gave me some wood. Cool. Um, Pulties. Also, I don't know if I really said it, but this character is like four inches shorter than I wanted him to be. I really, really wish there was something to um, signify how tall they are when you're creating them. And I checked, you can't change their frickin' heights. You can change pretty much anything else about them in the shops, but nope, not their height. Thanks, game. <sighs> really? Let me use my photon art. And I hit one of them. Um, which photon art do I have equipped? I don't remember. I know one of them I liked better than the other, I just don't remember which one this is. character feels tiny. I've been playing some fairly tall characters. Um, was I going to check? Was I going to just check something about like equipment? I don't know. Speaking of equipment, I can't use that yet. Darn it. Ooh, Koltova gun. Cool. I won't use that thing because, well, 
I'll show you what this gun's like, but I'm not going to actually use it and pellet. So this is this weird Koltova thing on like a handle, and it pukes up these bomb things, which eh, I guess is kind of funny, but it it's hard to or it's not air. Uh, if I could learn to speak. It's inaccurate, and it looks stupid, and it's just more valuable to me to sell, because I think I can sell it for over 20,000 bucks, which is a lot for a noob, which I am. Die! Die, 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 die. Alright, I was going to check which photon art was equipped to my sword. That's what I was going to do. Right, photon art sword, photon art sword, photon art sword. If I say it enough, I might not forget it. That's probably a mono mate. Die, die, die. Oh, Cell Atomizer. Cell Atomizers will heal all status ailments on your character. I rarely use them. Okay. <sighs> Link photon art. Rising strike. What's this one like? Yeah, that's much better. That I can control. I don't remember if there are enemies back here or even items, but I'm gonna check. I should remember this. I've run it like three times in my spare time. Nope. Um, let's get my favorite weapon, charging. I'm a fan of dual wielding, no matter what the weapon is, so... Yeah. Uh, if I had my way, I'd just have a whole bunch of dual guns on this character, but... I'm gonna try out the different types of guns for the most part, because I don't really play a ranger all that much. I've played them before, just... they're not my first choice. Usually I go with Hunter or even Force. Come on! Man, I'm using a lot of strong attacks. I, w I wish I could figure out the timing, but oh well. Ah, that is so much more accurate. Yeah, that's better. Alright. Can I destroy that tree? Nope. And there's a key and some hay bales. Let's just do that, because why not? I had the charge for it. And open. Let's see, I think I'm in block two. I don't think I'm in block three yet. There's like four blocks to this area, if I remember right. Hello, monsters. Pew, pew, pew! Yeah. In case you haven't noticed, I resort to using my sword a lot, because I like being a hunter. Oh well. Also, I'm kind of out of charge on my other weapons. So it's hard not to use the sword when it's really handy and convenient for me. I'm right there. But, oh well. Just how many of these things are there? Jeez. Stop throwing fathers at me. Pew pew pew! Also, these handguns don't have a very long range. The rifle has a nice range, but... Not like I can run away from these guys too easily. Ooh, level up. I might be able to use that armor now. Excuse me. Really? Arrows weren't enough, now you gotta give me pulties. This is probably the last room of the block then. Just throwing this many enemies at me randomly. Come on. Just be dead. Didn't mean to use my sword. Jeez! Knock it off! Excuse me. 
Pew pew pew! Also, my sword is currently ice element. That's just um, something built into this particular sword. Not a photon art or something like the guns are. Um, also, my armor, I think, is light based, meaning I'll get extra protection from light attacks and whatnot. Not that it matters all too much right now, because I don't think there's a single light attack right now. And I don't think... I might take a little less damage from light-based enemies, but I don't hold me to that. Like, these Koltovas are fire. Come on, finish them off. There we go, wow. That's a lot of enemies. Now, speaking of armor... Yeah, this armor is lightning, whereas this was... Uh, light. So electric light. And it reflects on the color of the pattern on their clothing. Alright. Ooh. Photon charger. Yes. I can use my guns again. Ooh, okay, I'm already at the boss. I was expecting this to be longer. So this is Dragon. Yes, this is Dragon. That was quite the squeak for a dragon. Now, I don't believe this guy is capable of flying. At least I've never seen him do it, aside from intro. If you can shoot him from the front, he takes more damage. Especially if you can hit him in like the neck or head region. Thing is, that leaves you open to his fireball attacks. Like, or just fire breath in general. But he should go down fairly easily, because he's definitely not very tough. Um, as you can see, he's got multiple points you can hit him, which, if you had a wide range of weapon like a large sword, is quite nice, but. Come on. Just be dead. Pew pew pew! These fights are not very exciting when you're a ranger. <laughs> yeah, if you're a hunter, you're, you know, up close, kicking its butt. Not so much if you're a force or a ranger, but I guess if you're a force or a ranger, then the fun comes from trying to not get hit. Which, as you can tell, I'm not very concerned about. And then this guy, you know, falls over all dramatic and blah blah blah. Uh, Fantasy Star Online Episode 1 for the GameCube. There was a dragon as like the first boss. And when it died, it could actually fall on you during the cutscene and kill you. That was a fun thing to learn about. I, it's never happened to me. It has fallen on me, but it's never killed me in doing so. But anyway, I'm going to return to the uh, space station satellite colony thing and do some shopping. So, I'm probably going to be back in my room when I meet you next. <laughs>